Welcome to Marsila Beach. This is in Coron, Palawan in the Philippines. Check it out. That's a new place for me as well. I've been planning to come here for a few years and here I am. So today we are gonna check out a lens, a new lens, well, lately released by Viltrox. It's a 20 millimeters autofocus f2.8 full frame for Sony cameras. We're gonna test it out, review it, I'm gonna share my opinion and I'm looking forward to hearing your comments down here below. I hope this video finds you well and as I'm walking around I'm actually using the Viltrox 20mm to show you how it performs in terms of video mode. I'm also shooting at f2.8 in terms of aperture and iris and so you can see a bit of you know the depth of field what this lens can get. Also I'm walking around to test the stabilization of the lens. Look at this, there's no one here, it's actually quite late. We got, I've just seen monkeys coming down with a scooter. I'm using the Sony FX3 as well for this test and review. Check the timestamps below if you want to skip to a specific subject. We're talking about a 20 millimeters prime lens for Sony cameras, so with E mount full frame. It's a wide angle, it's quite light, great for vlogging. We'll see. But of course, it can be used on a crop sensor APS-C, which provides more or less a 30 millimeters focal length. And I'm actually sitting down because I think you've seen a bit of stabilization in action. So I'm going to sit here. I think these are mangroves. So I'm going to sit below these amazing trees. And once again, I can't stop repeating myself, but I love traveling and I love the Philippines and you guys need to check it out. Especially, I love you Filipino people. Let's talk about the build of the lens. It has an integrated USB Type-C port for firmware updates. And that's the first thing I want to talk about. You need to upgrade your firmware on the lens. It features a built-in stabilization, which again needs to be upgraded through the firmware because the first time I used the lens, that wasn't installed and there was not stabilization and you can really tell the difference. The body is plastic, it's very, very light and you have a focus ring on the lens itself. On paper, also the body is water resistant. When we talk about filter diameter, we have uh, 52 millimeters. As I'm using right now, I'm using a variable ND filter needed for uh, video making. Talking about the dimensions and the weight I mentioned before, it's very tiny, very portable, so great for these kind of situations where you're traveling around with a lot of gear. And I'm actually making a video about what's in my travel camera bag, so stay tuned right here on the channel because it's coming right after this video. But in terms of size, it measures 70 millimeters by 85 and the weight is 157 grams. Nothing compared to the zoom lenses I'm carrying also like the 16 to 35 millimeters Sony and the 24 to 240 which are more than half kilo. Talking about the focus we have a noiseless focus motor. It supports the eye autofocus of the Sony cameras. It works really well. I've also tried a few photos and yeah it's just spot on even with the sunglasses on it were working it was working and it was identifying my face but also the eye the minimum focus distance is 19 centimeters from the subject and let's have a look i'm actually now at 40 more or less that's like literally one hand from my face which is 20 centimeters let's see can you see me in the eyes? Mm. There, that's probably even closer. 15? Does it keep the eye? You tell me. Aperture. So we have an electronic aperture. It's a bright lens. As I mentioned, the 
iris goes to f2.8. Inside the lens we have on paper nine blades but actually I count seven so I'm not really sure if the paper I got is wrong but that's what I can see inside the lens. Uh, so the more blades you have inside the lens usually the a better bokeh you have and the rounder also flares better vignetting so everything is just more natural if you have more blades but we've got seven slash nine in this Viltrox 20 millimeters lens what's in the box we have a nice white box containing all the accessories we have the lens itself a rear cap the lens cap for the front a carrying pouch, the user manual, the lens hood and a warranty card. The price at the moment is $158. All the links are in the description down here. Vignetting, we talked briefly about it. I don't see much vignetting actually uh, with this lens and so I don't notice flares. They look okay to me for what I need as well. Sharpness, the lens looks sharp from the images I've seen so far in the center but also around the edges. Chromatic aberration, there's a little bit of that actually in the images as you can see right here. Uh, you might be able to fix it in post-production a little bit but yeah that's what it is. Distortion, I noticed a bit of distortion on straight lines, nothing to worry about especially for photography, it's something you can fix in Photoshop or Lightroom. Even on faces, actually, I, I, I like the look. It's a 20 millimeter, it's a wide lens, so sometimes the wide lenses distort the face. But I think it's a good vlogging lens, and actually it's good for gimbal work as well. If you have a tiny gimbal, you can have a nice and compact setup. What do I think about the lens? Again, as a traveler, I, I need to be light. Sometimes, and even for this trip, my bag is too heavy. I'm literally carrying 10, 12, 15 kilos of gear. And uh, that's why I also purchased the new Sony G Master 16 to 35 because it was smaller and lighter than the previous version. I've also upgraded with the 24 to 70 G Master, so I bought the Mark II just because I want to reduce the weight and the space taken in my backpack when I travel. Also living in London and working as a self-shooter I need to carry all my gear and I want to, to be as light as possible. So for this trip for example I think if you had this lens like the 20 millimeters by Viltrox and I have a 24 to 240 Sony lens you can cover the whole range you won't need anything else and to be completely honest probably if I had to carry just the 20 millimeters here and maybe 135, I would have traveled with two prime lenses and that's it. Because anyway, I can do the wide angle shots, I can take wide angle shots with the 20 millimeters and also vlog with the 20 millimeters. And then I can do close ups, portrait, get some wildlife with the 135, for example, which is still a very bright lens and is just more portable than a zoom lens in certain cases. Well, I hope you enjoyed. I'm gonna show you one more time this beautiful location here. Marsila Beach, Palawan, Coron in the Philippines. I better get going because also the weather doesn't look great. And uh, man, I had to go through a very, very bumpy and crazy off-road road, if you know what I'm saying. If you're traveling, guys, hire a scooter, explore, because I think that's what I love the most of traveling seeing the local people, how they actually live, talking to the kids, you know, they're just amazing. Whew, I have no words. Hope the video helped, hope you liked, hit subscribe. I will see you from a different location very soon. Take care.